G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Well, I've got a bit of a weird and wonderful video request uh, for this one. Now, a viewer commented about half an hour or so ago on last night's live stream conversations, which was obviously after the live stream. Uh, a guy by the name of Thomas Holt has asked me if I'd do a video on setting up a HP 4620MFC multifunction center on Manjaro or Manjaro, whatever you want to call it, GNOME 1705. There's a couple of problems that I'm going to incur during this video. The first problem is I don't have a HP 4620 wireless printer. So wireless authentication is going to be nigh on impossible. Secondly, again, I haven't been supplied with all the information regarding network topology, systems, access points, nothing. So to set this up and show him how it's got to be done, it's going to be a little bit fiddly. Um, it is Arch Linux, which we all know I don't like Arch, but we all know that I'm here to help people out as best I can. So let's do a full system setup, install, and uh, see if I can work out how to get a HP 4620 running on Manjaro or Manjaro 9705. Let's get into it. All right, well, here is our Manjaro or Manjaro GNOME virtual platform with a four gig of RAM, a dual core Xeon 3.4 gig CPU and 120 gig hard drive. And uh, like I said, I'm not overly sure how this is gonna work because I, you guys know I don't like Arch Linux, but as I said in the introduction, I'm here to help people out as best I can and so we're going to give this a shot. I can't guarantee this is going to work either because frankly I don't like Arch Linux and its networking setup is an absolute pain in the bum sometimes. Let, let, let's see what this does. Okay. All right. Well, the time zone's not right. To start with. Oh, Sydney? Seriously, I'm not in Sydney. <sighs> Typical. You think of Australia and everyone seems to think of Sydney. What happened to Melbourne? All right, let's, um, let's do this. All righty. Like I said, I don't know, I, d I don't like Manjaro Linux. I never have. So this is gonna be somewhat, um, Tedious, I think, is probably the best way of describing it. All right. So... Here we are in Manjaro or Manharo Linux, whatever you want to call it. We'll go full screen on this. This is Manharo or Manjaro um, GNOME. Oh, New York, seriously? Melbourne. Quick and uh, quick and dirty setup for this. Mm. 
I really, I, I, I've got to be honest with you. Without under knowing all the schematics needed to to do a proper video is damn hard. Because you know, I, without the network topology or understanding his infrastructure, it does make it very difficult. And this is, this, I mean. It, when you're a tech like myself, and there's many of us out there uh, in the marketplace, it's very hard to understand a, a complete infrastructure setup when you get very little in the way of details. Um, and secondly, also, HP doesn't always agree with Linux. There are certain Linux distros out there that HP systems just don't agree with. And I've had that backed up. Um, I've had that backed up by a good friend of mine. Um, and Arch Linux by default is is a finicky operating system. It, it it's it's very precise in what drivers are needed to run certain external hardware components, whether that be, you know, SAN, NAS, um, printers, cameras, whatever you want to call it. But He's asked for the help, so I'm going to give him all the help I can. Geez, that's annoying. Australia, it's only got Sydney as the time zone. It gives me the irrits. People seem to think of, think Sydney's the be-all and end-all of Australia. Mind you, though, I will say some of HP's printers aren't exactly fantastic. Um, I've had a lot of experience with HP printers and servers, and frankly, in some cases, their printers don't match the quality of their servers. Um, I've got <clears throat> much more higher regard for Fuji Xerox systems than some HP's, even some HP, um, you know, your big... Um, digital colour presses and that are, are a pain to set up and use. Um, if you just want to do control P, they're fairly easy, but in some cases they're also very, very finicky uh, regarding, you know, access to, you know, certain parts of the RIP, uh, access to certain parts of the FTP system, the Linux, which is generally 2.6 on the RIP, is, um, you know... There's not a lot of give and take in them sometimes. So, I know I've been howled on for dissing Arch Linux, but I don't like it. I just, I just don't like Arch Linux. Um, I never really have, but look, you know, that's my opinion. If you want to howl on me for my opinion, that's fine. Um, I've been howled on on a lot of things, but it do, it makes it hard for a tech to know exactly what the setup is when you don't get all the details. Let's uh, let's restart this, and this isn't going to grab. I can tell you that right now. Um, I know there's people out in the Linux community who love Arch Linux. They reckon it's the bee's knees. I don't. But that's that's just me. I prefer, you know, as I've said in the past, it's Man, Mandrake, Open Man Driver, um, Mint, um, you know, Linux Lite, MX Linux, um, stuff like that. It just... Nice, friendly Linux operating systems. I'm sure if you tried hard enough or you're advanced enough, you could probably make Arch Linux more user-friendly. You know, even if it is to people like myself. But, all right. Now, HP printer time. Well, first off, we've got to get this... this um... I'm going to find it first. Uh, settings. All right. Display. 
Well, that definitely ain't right. So here is our Manjaro or Manharo, whatever you want to call it, Gnome 1705. I don't, I don't like it. Okay, whatever. All right, now. Printers. Oh, God. Let's use a repository. Close tabs. Right, let's try this again. So he wants to know about setting up a HP 4620 in Manharo Linux. Now, the first problem we're going to have with this is I don't have a 4620. So wireless authentication is going to be nigh on impossible, but we're going to give it a shot. So first off, okay, so there's the HP device manager. Now, from here... Now, this is probably going to have an absolute, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Um, I can tell you now, I don't have the money at, on me right at this point in time to go out and get a 4620. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, now how are we going to do this backyard IT? Um, see, this is what I mean. I, it's very hard to make a video when you don't have all the componentry needed to make the video. So we need to go to the, I think it's the cups. I don't think I've got cups. So there's cups. Okay. Um, so, okay, so Thomas, what you're going to have to do um, Okay, so you want to What you need to do is share it You want to allow that You need to allow that um, I don't know what authentication he's using Um whether he's using Kerbos, whether he's running some sort of Samba, whether he's... I don't know anything. So I'm just going to have to go with the bare bones of this. So you're going to want to do that. Then you're going to want to find the printer. Now, if you can't find the printer, you're going to have to add it. Um, Okay, so to add your printer, you're going to want to use HP local printer, HP, uh, well, see, it, it's got my brother here, okay, because my brother is pre-configured, but I don't have a HP printer, Thomas, so I'm, I'm, um, So what you've got to do, uh, oh, this is very, okay, you, um, just hang on a minute, viewers, I've just got to look something up. Um, okay, I, this could be catastrophic to me here at Backyard IT for doing this, but I'm going to see if I can actually do it. Um, I hope to hell this doesn't wipe out everything else I've set up for my printer, because if it does... I'm going to have a major, major problem here. All right, so this is my printer, which means it's going to be extremely different to a HP. 
by default. So you share this printer. Now I don't know if this is actually going to do it. I've got a horrible feeling it's not. All right. So um Sixty-five twenty. I've got a sixty-five fifty. Um. Okay. Set defaults. Okay. So. Thomas, you're going to have to... Uh, um, yeah, right. Okay, let me just try and see if I can actually print something here. Um, okay, so, Thomas, you've seen how I set up the brother. My, my thing. I don't know if this is exactly the same as a HP. Um... This is what I mean now. Okay, so now I need to go into Office. I've got to go to Writer. Again, I, the problem is without having a HP, I don't know that this is going to be the exact same setup. So, um, All right, so now we see whether or not it actually printed. Uh, yes, that's what I want. And that would be a no. Diagnose. Okay. Right, so... See, I, I can't... Don't save. All right, so, Thomas, what you're going to have to do here is you've got to go set up device you got to go to wireless now yeah so what you can do Thomas is if you go to the HP device manager setup and you want a device discovery you're going to have to either you, 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 you've got a couple of options here um, again, as I said, viewers, he did not give me his network topology, so I don't know how it's all set up. However, if the printer is plugged directly into the modem, okay, via Cat5, then um, you're going to want to set up an Ethernet, even if you are coming off wireless access point, uh, wireless connections via your laptops or workstations, whatever you've got. However, if everything is wireless, you're going to have to do this one to get the right device driver. Now, if you haven't got the right device driver, you're going to have to get on to... Oh, um, yeah, so... I'm, look, Thomas, I, I'm, I'm struggling to help you here because the setup for, for HP is going to be wildly different to the setup for a, um, for a brother. Because I haven't got any brother... Brother's not supported directly by Arch Linux. Whereas HP is. So, what you need to do in a terminal... So, uh, is you'll need to run HP Setup. Theoretically, your printer should have some sort of generic firmware installation system embedded on the actual printer, which should be able to be pulled back. Um, unfortunately, I can't... Yeah, see, because I don't have a HP printer, um, I can't set it up because the setup for my brother is vastly different to that of a HP. Um, so 
what I, what I do, what I do um, Thomas would be to go to menu, find your HP device manager, which will come out of accessories, click on it, and then you're going to have to set up the device that way. So you, you may or may not need cups. However, if you do need cups, you're going to have to do it through here. And you can see here that I've got issues with the printer uh, already because I don't have uh, anything, uh, any brother system set up in this. And Manjaro would need an extra driver because there's no support built into um, Manjaro Linux. So try that. Other than that, I, I can't help you because I don't have a HP 4620. And the other problem is, is that I can't set one up because the device authentication is not something I'm going to have access to. Um, see how you go with that. Other than that, I, I really don't know what else to um, to do. You, you should be able to use that. Oh, sorry. Accessories HP Device Manager and do it that way. The other thing you need to make sure of too is that your 4620 has Linux drivers. Even if you have to use generic Linux 3.x or later drivers, it should run. Um, unfortunately, I can't help you because I don't have a 4620, but hopefully what you've seen me do will help you out. Um, we'll just do a quick uh, product review here of N Manharo Gnome. So we've got uh, favorite apps, you can see that, or favorite applications. We've got Firefox. We'll have a quick look at Firefox, see what version they're running. Accessories, there's a fair bit there, as you can see. Uh, education, you've got LibreOffice Maths. Games, Steam's in there by default, ready for the gamers. Graphics, we've got G-Thumb, uh, Simple Scan, and LibreOffice Draw. Interwebs, you get Firefox, Heads Chat. You've got a VNC server and an SSH server. We've got Transmission, BitTorrent, and you get Download Manager. Office, full LibreOffice 5 package. Programming, we've got Icon Browser. Sound and Video, Brasario, you've got Cheese, Lollipop, uh, QT, Test Utility, and Video, just a generic video player. Sundry Tools, Printer Settings, and Flash Player, you may be able to use that to get your hands on on the HP running. System tools, uh, we've got a Vahi Zero Config browser, we've got a Dconfig editor, we've got Gpart as, as our hard drive partition system, managing printers, uh, our Hello Screen settings, um, SU Studio Imager for USB and our standard terminal. Utilities, there's a fair bit there as you can see and some other applications there. We've got add and remove software, we've got the Manjaro settings manager, uh, software updater and VM user agent. So a little bit there to get yourself started with. I'm, I'm not keen on Manjaro or Manharo Linux. I don't like it. Have a quick sticky beak at this out of the box. Current uh, current version you get is 5503 on 64 bit. Um, So, like I said, viewers, I can't really do it because I don't have a HP printer. And whilst I'm good at virtualization, virtualizing a HP interface is nigh on impossible. But hopefully that's helped those out. So if you use that and a combination of cups, you should somehow be able to get it to run. Anyway, Manharo Linux, HP setup. Hopefully that's helped people out. We shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.